came up the block, I saw her on the street. I said, how you doing? I said, I'm doing okay, but I got a backache. I'm going to my daughter's house. Okay, so I went on up the block to my daughter's house. About 15, 20 minutes later, all these fire, fire department, police department, everybody was coming, the ambulance, and the police was running physically. I was upstairs in my friend's house. I came down. I came down. I said, what's going on? What's going on? The cops was running, 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 running. Every person I know in the community, okay, they was here. They came out for them, okay? But what went on in Building 119, I don't know. What went on in that apartment, I don't know. I left her on the streets with one of the sons, okay, the one that's living, okay? So now what went on, I don't know, but I want to find out. I want to find out. God, Mary is a, 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 a good person. She's, she's a heavy smoker, but she smokes cigarettes. God has a she's, unique she's, way. She's under a lot of pressure, but she's good. The devil meant she's good. God never seen no violence, never them. seen no arguing, never seen no fuss or anything. We are you got a child, you got to take it as a grown person. And, a and they have to. We are the you, evidence you that, that when words. we make up our minds to come together, anything is possible. We lost. We lost one hero police officer too soon. Another is struck in front of uh, uh, for his life. But we also have a third that'll go back on patrol, and we know he got what it takes. And that's the officer who killed this. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very Thank much. You guys. I appreciate Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. Good evening, everyone. We stand here today because of a tragedy that happened last night. This should not have been. Those police officers should not have been shot. Right. One upstairs fighting for his life, the other one has lost his life, mm. which was a baby. A baby, that's someone's child. That's someone's brother, someone's niece, or um, someone's nephew. The violence in the city, this has to stop. All violence, not just police violence, street violence, all violence. It's killing our children, it's killing our society. Yes, yes. And it must stop. Yes. We want to fight for what's right. That's right. We are not against police. We are against bad policing. And when a police officer is doing his job, he should be able to turn, return home that evening. Teach. Just like all of us, we want to return home. Right. Tell it. Right. When we walk these streets, these streets should be safe for they us to walk. Right yes. You know, the police officers, the most of them, they are doing their job. They're trying to protect the city. Yes. And we must stand with them when these tragedies happen. We have to stand with them. And as you know, my son was killed by police. I'm against those bad police, but I'm not against all police. I have police in my family. And I want to see them come home at night. Tell it. You know, so let's get together. We have to fight for what's right. That's right. Yes. Yes. That's right. Amen. My heart is so heavy right now with that man laying upstairs fighting for his life. Yeah. My heart is heavy for the one who lost his yeah. life last yeah. night. I feel sorry for his mother, his family. Uh -huh. we, I know what they're going through. Amen, go right there. So, so please, let's get together and let's stop this violence. Yeah, right. yeah. And we want our young people to know we love you young people, yeah. but we don't want you to kill each other because we losing you, because you're headed to prison for killing each other or because you're dying. Yeah. And when is enough is going to be enough? We got to put these enough. guns down. Yes, put the guns down. We got to put the guns down. Yeah. We okay, got to put the guns down. Thank you again, sir. Thank you.
because it makes no sense that we have double the unemployment in Harlem than we do on the Upper West Side. Amen. It makes no sense that our schools are more segregated today than they were in 1965. It makes no sense that we don't have access to quality health institutions in our own neighborhoods. But you got to walk blocks to get to a quality grocery store because the bodegas don't have fresh fruits and vegetables. So we're talking about how we will rebuild our entire community. And on the heels of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we are now here in Harlem, New York, because we're recognizing that violence still permeates these streets. You should stay cool. These community leaders are always on the call, always at the scene, and we thank them for their diligence and for their leadership. I do also want to thank you for the and so, many will ask, why is the National Action Network calling a vigil in a moment of pause for a crime committed against the NYPD? I think my sister Ashley said it most clear. First of all, it's our responsibility. And, I, and as she also stated that this is not only what happened physically, this is a demonic force in our community. A gun, an illegal gun, is not assigned to anyone in particular. It's not assigned to NYPD, it's not assigned to a civilian. But an illegal gun is assigned to all of us. I want to make it clear that the enemy that we're facing and fighting is gun violence. Yes. And so many will come and say, what is NAM doing out here? What is WARM doing out here and other organizations doing out here? Because it is our responsibility. Yes, sir. Yes. The police that police our streets, whether we agree with their, their tactics or not, in certain situations, they are in the community with us. Yes. We have to cohabitate. Uh -huh. And so I'm here just to second the record clear. Yes. That if a cop gets killed, we must be as equal, frustrated, and angry about what happened. Amen. There were four police officers injured while on duty in the line of fire in the past few days. One lying right upstairs yes. in critical condition as yes. he's fighting for his life. One yes. died last night. So we have to be vigilant. We have to be intentional and we need to come together to stand up against the danger now that Amen. we feel. Right there. And we need to be rest assured that we are going to come through this and come through this together. God, we pray that you will do a new thing, God. Turn some things around in our streets. God, God, allow them to put the guns down in our streets, Lord. God, change the minds of your people. Change the hearts of your people. Allow them to know that they can, they can come to you whenever they need healing. Allow them to know they can come to you whenever they need deliverance. But most of all, God, allow them to know that they can look up into the hills from which cometh their help, knowing that all help comes from you God who's made heaven and earth and so God we thank you we praise you and we honor you it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray and every believer shout amen amen, amen. thank you pastor I just want to reiterate the power of a unity the power of a unified front we came out here to stand together for peace 